Shambhala Art is a program uh, where we try to experience what it means to be creative. And the way we do that is that we, first of all, connect with who we are, the body that we have, and the five senses that we have, and try to be present to that, and relate to the world through that. As opposed to intellectualize the world, we try to just be in the world and to open our five senses, and also open our mind, which is also our heart, we do calligraphy work, or we do collage work, or we do object arrangement, installation work. Sometimes I teach Ikebana workshops. If I, I work with other teachers, they bring what they have. If I work with a the dancer, there's going to be some movement. I also do some theater exercise sometimes. But if I work with a painter, she's going to bring, of course, her art to the workshop. This program is suggesting to people to realize, first of all, that they can stop and relax and enjoy who they are, and that you can be, just be, present. It starts from the fact that our teacher, Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche, was convinced that everybody is an artist, has the potential, and is a creative. But you don't have to be, you know, uh, like a practicing artist to do that. Everybody can do that if you feel that you have some kind of a connection to art, a desire to express yourself and to explore that. This is program is for everybody. You don't have to be a Buddhist. Although the whole program is based on the Tibetan Buddhism system, the only thing that we do which is connected to the Buddhist teachings is that we meditate a little bit. We teach meditation technique, but that's universal. You don't have to be a Buddhist to do meditation. So it has to do basically with just being present. You need beauty, you need harmony manifested. That's this project is about manifesting it. Sometimes we can meditate for a long, long time, that's fine. But uh, we also need to express. But it's meditation in action. It's a quality of presence to the work that we bring. So our work is, is about creating the proper conditions from, for that to happen. We can see that in a very simple exercise like object arrangement, people that do not know each other can create a piece that stops your mind. Stops your mind means there's so much harmony coming out of this object arrangement that you see suddenly the world differently. Why do you see it differently? Because it gives you silence. You're just there in your body, in the moment. And I think that's what art does. It's not that we create masterpieces, but we create instant art, and that's the result of a synchronized mind. When your body and mind are together, It's about respecting each moment of your life and enjoying it, which means being present to each moment of your life, including, you know, how you put the butter on your toast. It also has to do with when you go out in the winter, really feeling the wind on your cheeks. It changes the way you go to the bus stop, I, f I find.
I'm trying to say, you know, the more present you are to your world, to the simplest thing, the more peaceful you can become.